a young couple from Podilia, central Ukraine, in 1875. The clothing worn by the young couple in the photograph reflects the fashion of the time and the traditional attire of Podilia. This snapshot of a typical school day, featuring pupils working on their assignments while sipping Coca-Cola, provides an insight into the daily lives of students in the 1940s. Before the development of radar technology, nations explored alternative methods for detecting incoming aircraft. Sound locators were one such approach used in the early 20th century. California National Guardsmen kissing their wives goodbye as they depart for Camp Cook, California, on September 2nd, 1950, emotional and personal aspect of military service depicting the tender moments as guardsmen say goodbye to their wives. Members of a photo club in England during the 1880s, photography clubs and societies began to emerge as communities where individuals with a shared passion for photography could come together. After spending three months in the hospital in Rimini for a broken thigh, during which time her home was looted of furniture and jewellery and her villa suffered severe fire damage, Ekberg found herself penniless in December 2011. She turned to the Fellini Foundation for assistance, which was also struggling financially. Alexandru Ioan Cusa, Prince of Moldavia and Wallachia and Domnitor of Romanian Principalities, key in 1848 revolution and initiated reforms for Romanian modernization. Wide, flared legs that hung down past the knee were the hallmark of flared trousers, which became immensely popular in the 1970s and were further popularized by the disco era that came into being later in the decade. Elvis Presley's promotion of the film Jailhouse Rock in 1957. Jailhouse Rock is a musical drama film starring Elvis Presley, directed by Richard Thorpe. It was released in 1957 and is considered one of Elvis's most iconic movies. Betty Grable entered the entertainment industry at a young age, initially as a performer in vaudeville and later as a chorus girl in Broadway productions. Frank Sinatra and Nat King Cole in 1955. Their musical talents, which cut across many genres, are still relevant today, and their influence on the entertainment industry is still strong. A steel worker on the Saucony Mobile Building in 1955. The Saucony Mobile Building, which is located in Midtown Manhattan, New York City, was built as the headquarters for the Saucony Vacuum Oil Company, which was the forerunner of Mobile Oil. Later, it was renamed as 150 East 42nd Street. Steve McQueen and his wife, Neil Adams, taking a sulfur bath at Big Sur in 1963, captures a moment of relaxation and leisure for the iconic actor and his spouse. An early 20th century Ukrainian girl dressed in traditional Lemko clothing. The Lemkos are an ethnic group from the Carpathian Mountains that now inhabit parts of Slovakia, Poland, Ukraine and the Lemko region. Victorian travelers on the Chamonix Glacier in the Savoy Alps, France, from 1867. Chamonix, located in the Savoy Alps, has been a popular destination for mountain enthusiasts and tourists, particularly those interested in alpine landscapes and activities. A woman in a beauty shop from circa 1928. The flapper era, defined by a more modern and free-spirited approach to fashion and beauty, began in the 1920s. 
In the early weeks of the German invasion of the USSR in the summer of 1941, Ukrainian residents watched as their adjacent hamlet burned. The assault uprooted and destroyed entire towns, causing many to lose their homes, their loved ones, and their livelihoods. John Archibald Purves patented the Dynosphere, a single-wheel vehicle that revolved around a central axis and was essentially a big motorized wheel that included the engine and driver. The Dynosphere was first seen in 1930 and was designed to be a self-contained gyroscopic vehicle. Sophia Loren and the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. It's possible that Sophia Loren was involved in a film or promotional photo shoot featuring the iconic car. Lana Turner had her auburn hair bleached for the 1939 film Idiot's Delight. Although she was pulled from the picture, her new blonde hair transformed her appearance on screen and gave her a gregarious, sultry demeanor that earned her the nickname Nightclub Queen from Hollywood. Queen Marie of Romania and her daughter, Princess Ileana, at Pele's Castle in Romania, circa 1914. Queen Marie, known for her elegance and influence, was the wife of King Ferdinand I and played a significant role during a critical period in Romanian history. A Boston traffic jam scene in 1929. Boston, as a historic city, has dealt with traffic challenges over the years, and a traffic jam scene in 1929 may reflect the growing prevalence of automobiles and urban congestion. A couple dancing in the streets of South Bronx, New York in 1979. Street dancing has cultural importance and is frequently connected to celebration, resistance and communal expression. Two men standing by a Coca-Cola delivery truck around 1910. By this time, Coca-Cola had transitioned from its early fountain drink days to being widely available in bottled form, making it more accessible to consumers. Two women washing clothes in England around 1905. In the early 1900s, washing clothes was typically done by hand. The absence of modern washing machines or other labor-saving devices reflects the manual labor involved in household tasks. In 1952, Marilyn Monroe was chosen as Miss Torpedo by the torpedo gang of the destroyer USS Henley, photographed by Earl Thyssen. One of Queen's most memorable performances occurred at the Live Aid Charity Concert in 1985. Their 20-minute set, including the legendary performance of Bohemian Rhapsody, is often considered one of the greatest live performances in rock history. A removable radio for cars. In the mid-20th century, car radios were typically integrated into the dashboard and were not as easily removable as modern car audio systems. The idea of a removable radio would have been an innovative feature, allowing car owners to take their radio with them when leaving the vehicle. Ukrainian girl holding a painting of Taras Shevchenko in Berezny. Taras Shevchenko was a prominent Ukrainian poet, writer, artist, and political figure. He is considered a national hero in Ukraine and is often referred to as the Bard of Ukraine. Shevchenko's works, which include poetry and paintings, played a crucial role in shaping Ukrainian cultural identity and promoting national awareness. In 